Matthew is the Joker on set. My friend goes into this uh, bar in Reno, just for hiring, right? And he walks up and goes, I'm, I'm here for the job. And the guy goes, you know, you're completely wrong. He goes, why is that? And he goes, we're hiring a, a, a bodyguard for the, for the bar, and we have about seven fights here tonight. We need someone very big. And he's like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not big, but I'm, I'm extremely tough. I'm a fighter. And he's like, well, tell me how tough you are. Give me an example. He goes, last week I was at a rodeo, and I was riding, and a, a bull bucked me, and I ripped off my left hand, clean off. But I ran back, I grabbed my hand, and I sewed it on myself backstage. And I came back out on the fourth bowl, and I won the rodeo. And the guy goes, that is tough. You got the job. And he goes, all right. <laughs> so bad, but so good. Not, not even an ounce of laughter, not even a smile, not even a smirk. I kind of messed this trick up already, because I was supposed to stab it through the eye. But I'm going to try to move on, right? You can feel free to uh, examine the pen. I live in the worst part of Hollywood, in an old hotel from the 1920s. It's really cool. But this is like three times the size of my place in New York, and it's awesome. You know, I keep on thinking that at any moment the show's gonna get canceled and I'll be able to go back to New York or Nevada. I've lived on a, uh, an air mattress for eight months now, but I think uh, I finally made the, the step and got a real bed. Oh my god, it's so I feel so bad for you guys. Do you need help at all? Or? I'm incredibly weak. What do you the sheets? Cool? Cool or uncool? They're pheasants. Not so cool? I often, you know, I tell people uh, I was pretty much relentlessly beat up in junior high and no one believes it. I'm like, oh yeah, right, that guy's exaggerating. But I'm gonna show you a picture of what I used to look like. And you're not even gonna believe it's me. All right, are you ready? If I have to point it out, because you won't catch it. That's me. I look like a uh, sort of a fat Meg Ryan. <laughs> My sister gave me a perm. She thought it'd be really funny, and I somehow let her. But yeah, pretty awful, right? Matthew has um, what they call dark eye syndrome. A little bit of a dark circles around his eyes that he likes to leave there, so we have this ongoing battle. I hate when they cover them up, because it's not like, you know, it's, I look like that every day. It's not like I was out late. And of course, I tell him that he looks like, you know, a goth character, and he seems to like like it. He likes the Halloween look. I'm standing in line, and Shamar's like, "Hey, Matthew, you got a quarter?" And I'm like, "What? Wait, what do you need a quarter? He's like, I need to donate to this charity." I'm like, what, "What are you talking about?" And then I, they have this laid out right by the line where everyone assembles for lunch with like a flower in front of it. I do a little bit of makeup to cover it up, and you know, it's, and right now they're looking for a cure, and we've raised quite a bit of money for that. I went through a phase where I was only dressing like 1980s. <laughs> horror movie stars, and um, uh, <laughs> this was my uh, attempt at dressing like um, Jason from Friday the 13th. Oh, this is something I just made actually. This, I've begun pretty good, right? <laughs> totally crazy. <laughs> I've lost my mind. Anytime someone wears a picture of themselves drawn by themselves on their own shirt, you can, yeah, I feel kind of like a jerk, right? Is that, too, is that going too far? Is that pushing the limit? I've had this shirt since I was eight. It's pretty good, right? I got this amazing panda bear eating bamboo shirt. And it really is, it's, you can't really tell the detail, but it's, it's got puffy paint on it, which I'm pretty enthusiastic about. Barry's always bringing in like fun stuff. And he brought in all this old, all these old like suits and stuff from the 30s, like old flannel, which, because I'm obsessed with Carnival, that TV show, now I have this idea where I'm just gonna dress like I'm in Carnival while I watch Carnival and sit on my couch alone. <laughs> I really love my last name. I like monograms too. Any, any chance to put my initials on something, I jump at it. You wear mismatched socks, it's a good look. And the one time that I've worn matching socks in about seven years, I sprained my ankle. So I try to avoid wearing matching socks. Lola got these for me when we were filming the the first episode of Criminal Minds in, in the little girls department store in Canada. These are good, man, but they look too, like, like, fake, cool, like... No, I like them. They look cool? If they were, like, docked, with the yellow stitching. Yeah, what do you think? Like are these big. cool? I can dance in them. That's all I know, right? From the research I've done on a lot of geniuses, they're, they're not the most kempt of people. This is, you know, a, a badger brush. And once you've shaved with one of these, you, you can never shave any other way. I grew my fingernails very long 
for the character, and that got the, the, one of the producers really. She forced me to walk down to the makeup trailer and cut my fingernails off. But I put them all in a plastic bag. This is the best. I put my fingernail clippings in a plastic bag and um, put them on her desk with a fictional note from Les Moonves, the the head of CBS, saying, "Dear Judy, um, we're really interested in procuring some." Props from Criminal Minds. Would you have any? Idea? Essentially, I played a little practical joke on her, delivering my, my fingernails to her in a plant, and they're still hanging up in the writers' room. I saw them the other day. I only draw pictures of things that really make me happy. Like about, a lot of them are people I've seen in the streets. From a distance, they seem scary, but then if you really look at them, they're not scary at all. They're charming. So I started carrying a journal with me and just sort of sketching people. One of the producers of Criminal Minds, Deb Spera, saw one of my pictures. She was like, that's great. That's do a picture of me. And I was like, all right. It's been great. I've been able to draw a lot of the cast members and crew members. It's a way for me to sort of kill time creatively while waiting. Because a lot of, you know, shooting a TV show or any movie is waiting, 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 waiting. And it's the perfect amount of time to, to draw a picture of someone. I think I'm a much better filmmaker than an actor. It's become so much easier to make films. You don't need to get, you know, 16 millimeter rigs or heavy equipment. You don't need 30 people to shoot a short film. You can do it all alone. But really now there's no excuse to not make movies. I draw my inspiration from the desert sunset, from a flower 